Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to run the Windows Phone 7 series emulator. Right now there's not too much you can see in the emulator, but you can mess around with Internet Explorer, move around in some of the settings, and some other things, so it may be interesting for you to experiment a little bit. It's really easy to do. First download Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express for Windows Phone, that's a mouthful to say. We'll post a link on Pocketnow.com on how to do that, it's free. Uh, it takes some time to download, it's a big file, but once it's installed, you just open it up and what we're going to do now um, is go to file and new project and I'm just gonna click OK on the first thing I see here and now the next thing I'm gonna do is hit F5 on my keyboard it's gonna take a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is but here it is Windows Phone emulator okay so here we are I'm gonna minimize Visual Studio here and it's still thinking so I'm gonna give it a second Okay, here we are, and we can press these three virtual buttons here so we can go back to the start screen. Uh, we can swipe to the right to see the programs list. We can do a few things with these items on the right. We can flip it into a different orientation. Some programs will rotate, some will not. For example, Internet Explorer will rotate, so here it is rotated. Uh, another thing you can do is change how large the, uh, the screen is here, so we can go to a larger size. This is the actual size or we can change the zoom to 100% or something smaller than that. And of course we can go back into portrait if you want, to, want things to look uh, more normal. So that was a look on how to get the Windows Phone 7 series emulator working. We'll post links on pocketnow.com on exactly which files you need to download in order to get this to work. That's it for now.